All right, this is station five. This is all about finding the volume of a rectangular solid with a ruler. The formula that we're going to use here, or the formula for doing this, is volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. So you can find the volume of a solid using a ruler and just measuring those three dimensions. We're going to use the side that's the metric side that has centimeters and a tenth of a centimeter is a millimeter but we'll just use decimals um, so this right here would be 1.5 centimeters okay so let's get, go ahead and get started so the, our formula is length times width times height and we have a rectangular solid here with square corners we, of course, couldn't do this with this object. doesn't have square corners. Or, you know, even this object. It's close, but they're just a little bit off. So it wouldn't be all that accurate to use it. So we got to use an object with square corners. And you have to determine what the length is, what the width is, and what the height is. Sort of. Well, here's the length, right? But actually, if I hold it like this, now that length is the height. So... What, do you, what it really comes down to is it really doesn't matter what you call the length, width, and the height because you're going to multiply them anyway. But what's important is that you measure all three dimensions. To do that, you the easiest way to do it is to go to one corner and then go in three directions. One, two, three. So one corner in three directions. So let's get started with this one. All right, to measure this one, what we're going to do, and let me get this on focus mode. All right, to go ahead and measure this one, you got to make sure the ruler is right at the edge. Some of them, some rulers, have the zero mark recessed in from the edge of the ruler. This one does not. And I've got it lined up perfectly. And when I go to get the reading here, this one is 12 point, there's 12.5, so two past that would be 12.7. Okay, hopefully you can see that to some degree, that that's 12.7. So I go ahead and write that down. Dimension one is 12.7 centimeters times, well, I went in this direction, now I have to go in this direction. 12.7 times 1 point, there's a nice white background and you can see that it's 1.9 times 1.9 centimeters. And my third direction here is in a white background. I can see that that one is 4.0. Centimeters. Final step to this. I know you guys are getting excited. We're going to get the volume of this. It's fantastic. Um, the final step is 12.7 times 1.9 times 4. And that gives us 96.52. Let's get that written down. 96.52. Two. What are my units, though? Well, it's centimeters times centimeters times centimeters, which we could write centimeters cubed, or this is often called cc's. So the volume of this is 96.52 cc's. Okay, that just takes a little bit of imagination to see how 96 of these little guys would fit into this rectangular solid.